Airports are some of the most stressful places in the world. The same thing I just told you. And when Karens are thrown into the mix, it doesn't help much at all. This is what happens when entitled Karens get kicked out of airports and airplanes. Las Vegas flight? You're not listen. Listen, listen, you're not being Listen, I'm not fing intoxicated. I can get on the fing plane. I cannot fing afford the next fing ticket. So where the fing is the manager and who the fing paying for my next fing ticket? Because I'm not paying for this shit. On March 2nd, 2021, Broward County Sheriffs received a call from Fort Lauderdale International Airport. The caller stated that a woman at the Spirit Airlines terminal had started yelling and spitting at employees after she fell asleep while drinking at the bar. You will soon see the crazy reason why she was so upset. Okay, then you can pay for the fucking ticket for me to get to California because I'm not paying for this. I'm perfectly fine. I'm not fucking Yeah, yeah. I'm not paying for the next fucking Pay for impurity. Come talk to me, please. I'm right. talking to you, bro. Oh, I know, relax. They should have let me on this plane. Okay, She's what? being a bitch. She fucked it. Let's start from the beginning. All right. You want to start right. from the top? All right. Yeah. What? Ha you you obviously arrived here. And what happened when you got here? I don't know. I, I was literally sleeping. I listen, I'm standing right here. I was fucking sleeping, waiting for the the plane, bro. Okay, where? Over here? Literally right there. Yes. Okay, so then what happened? Yes. So, then what happened? But you were sleeping. You woke up. I woke up to uh -huh. them complaining about me. I wait, don't wait. understand what, do what the were, problem is. What were they I just want to get on the plane. I just want to go home. Let me see your ID so I can get some information. Notice that she very deliberately leaves out the point that she was drinking alcohol until she fell asleep. She knows that it would hurt her case. Most airlines strictly prohibit passengers from boarding a flight if they are visibly intoxicated, because being drunk on a plane can lead to disruptive behavior and pose a safety risk to everybody on board. She has my ID. No, she might have the no your driver's license or passport. Okay. So let's see. I had a mask. I have the. This was fine. I got through TSA perfectly fine. So I'm good. This is the fucking mask. Miss Diaz. Yes. Let's go. Let's go talk up front. No, I want to talk right here. You can't. Because I'm not going. I'm getting on the fucking plane. See, the doors closed. They can't reopen. I'm, I'm not paying listen, for it. I'm, I'm not, not doing that. I'm not saying you have to pay for anything. <laughs> Don't stop now. You're just gonna have to, you're gonna have to come with me and, and go to the, the county jail. If that's the if that's what you want, that's what we can do. It's up to you right now. What are you gonna put me in jail for? I, I'm for not, I haven't done anything illegal. For being in an airport, you're causing a disturbance. You can be arrested for that. A public disturbance in an airport is considered much more of a serious crime than doing it somewhere else due to the amount of people you are affecting. Plus the fact you'll be slowing down the airport's efficiency and as you will continue to see, this woman is very much causing a disturbance. I'm giving you the option. You can either wanna listen. Go home. You can walk quietly. I want to go home. Ms. Diaz, you can, you're not I want to go home. She's being a Well, let's go. Come on. It's either you go front with me or you go to jail. It's one or the other. <laughs> That's the only two choices we have. Where do you want me to go? What the I'll f? You want me to talk about this thing? I just told you. The same thing I just f told you. I need to put your hands behind your back. No, I'm not getting arrested. No, I'm not getting arrested. Oh, no. I don't need to get arrested, bro. I'm fine. I'm listening to you. We're talking, no, bro. No, you're not listening. Yes, I am. You don't need to arrest me. You do. No, you don't. You don't need to arrest me. Are you detaining me? No, you're being arrested. You're disorderly conduct. Can we just talk about whatever it is we're talking about outside? Once an officer has arrested someone, they cannot unarrest them without filing a voided arrest sheet. Generally, this comes after they've already been processed through the system at the jail. She continues to beg to be let out of the cuffs and for them to talk things through. But the hammer has already fallen. She's going to jail. I gave you like four or five opportunities to walk and talk with me. And then you, you kept throwing a fit. Then you started to walk. Then you threw your stuff on the ground. Everybody's looking at you. You have to go to jail. 
We're in an airport. We're not at the friggin' county. We're not the park. I wasn't even doing anything in the airport. I don't even know why he even said anything. I was sleeping and they woke me up with that shit. Please, 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 please. I cannot stay the night in jail, please. I don't want anyone here having nothing. I don't have any money. I'm not even going to be able to bail myself out. She continues to talk about how she was sleeping and woken up by all of this. What she doesn't mention is that she was told that her flight had left 45 minutes before she came up to the counter, which means that she missed the flight. That was entirely her fault. But she wanted to blame the workers and have them pay for the next flight when she was the one who did something wrong. <laughs> You got it for a second? Yeah, I got it. Please, 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 please. All right, we're going to pat you down here. Do you have anything on you that's going to poke me? No, or anything? I just want to go sharp? home. Please. Please, and let me go to California. Please. Please. <laughs> It's not even clear what she's begging for anymore. Is she begging to not go to jail? Or begging for them to send her to California? That second one is going to be on her to figure out because she's the one who missed the flight. I don't know what I'm going to do, please. Seriously, are you serious? Please, please let me stay, please. Please, I don't have anyone to bail me out. I can't afford to bail me out. Miss Diaz was arrested and charged with public intoxication, disorderly conduct, and resisting arrest. It's unknown what she pled to those charges or how her trial went, but it's very likely that she eventually did make her way back to her beloved California. The same can't be said for this next woman. We know very well that she went to trial because of her actions during the incident. <laughs> I'm not to have a Oh my god! Oh my god! Alright. Absolutely not. And I have my passport to get a new car. No, go ahead and get your driver's license. You can come over here. On September 19th, 2021, officers were dispatched to gate 28 at the Orlando International Airport. They'd been advised that a Hispanic woman was causing a disturbance and had struck one of the gate agents. When the officers arrived, that agent told them they wanted to press charges against the woman, whose last name is Ramirez Osorio. Don't judge. That's the problem with cops. I'm a cop myself. That's the problem as a cop. Judge one side. So don't judge one side. Listen to me and let me show you. But I'm not lying. I'm going to show you everything that you are. I'm a cop. I'm a veteran. So I'm going to show you my paperwork. And I'm not sure you the woman tells the cops here she too is a cop and that she is a veteran. This won't really help her case, because if she's done something illegal, the cops should still investigate it. But as we'll see shortly, things might not be as it seems with this Karen. I've been here since I've missed my flight, the My husband was a sheriff in the army, like myself. I'm a sheriff. I'm a sheriff myself. There is no such thing as a sheriff in the army. I just want you to know how people abuse their power. Can you just grab your bag I, I'm not, so we can walk in there? I'm going to give you my paperwork. It's not supposed to be. You're not going to grab. You're not going to fly. So, uh, Ma'am, you're not going to fly. Why? Why? Because they, they're not going to allow it. They don't want why? To. Come on. Because they said so. It doesn't matter. We have to go but now. why? I'll pay for it. Ma'am. I'll pay for it. Driver's license, and we need to go now. All right, but I'll pay If you do not do this, I do not want to put you in handcuffs. So you mean to tell me that it's okay for someone to say, you know what? I don't want her in my flight. Let's go now. Let's go. Come with me. Thank you. We can talk out there. We can talk out there. Thank you. Appreciate your cooperation, all right? What is the agent's If you just threaten her, I'm going to have to charge her. No, no, no. That's okay. All right? I said, God got you. I said, God got you. God got you. God got you. Is she a crew member? Yes. I need to fight her. 
The crowd cheered wildly once the lady was finally escorted off the plane, which shows just how much of a disturbance she was being. When random people celebrate you being removed by the police, that's a fairly easy indicator that you've done something wrong. We're just off. Follow me. Follow me. Follow me. Just follow me. Follow me, sweetheart. Let's go. Okay. Uh, we can't go through here. All right. Okay, just go around. Follow me. Just follow me. 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 Yeah, make sure you put that on Facebook, right? I'm an officer. To you in the office. I make yeah, 120. Me I make 120 years a year. I'm not gonna pick it up. Get your manager to tell me that I need to get there. I make 120 thousand a year. Get you your manager or an attorney. It's not clear why she brought up her income. But because she changed her story from 100,000 to 120,000, it's safe to assume that this is just another lie. Take anything this woman says with a grain of salt. Do you understand what, what I'm one. saying? I'm pregnant. Okay, I'm about to have a miscarriage. And I can All sue right. this shit out. Right, oh my god. god! Oh my god! I'm in pain! Yeah. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god. I'm fucking licking. Yeah, I'm licking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm licking. I'm licking. Oh my god, I think I'm losing my baby. I'm losing my baby. I'm fucking losing my baby. Call the fucking ambulance. They go what the fuck you looking at me. You don't see my child's coming out. Look at that. I'm losing my baby. I'm losing my baby. This scene caused a lot of outrage online towards this woman because she wasn't losing her baby. She was pretending to have a miscarriage in some sort of attempt to get out of trouble, which is incredibly disrespectful to people who have gone through the horrible process of losing a child. There is little evidence that this woman was even pregnant in the first place, which makes this whole charade even more strange. Blankets are all lying anywhere, do you? No, you know, they like shit. Have blankets. Because the Thank niggas you. like you, because you gotta let them get away with you. You know what she said? I don't like you. I don't think you're pretty enough. You shouldn't even get on this plane. And you know what she did? She did just that. And you vocal. You vocal. Do you feel stupid? I have a recording saying she don't, she laughing. <laughs> She's not going to get on the flight. We'll see. She's and you think that's professional? No. And you think it's professional that you went along with it without even giving my fucking side? Right. No, you hear my side after the fact. You didn't say, hold on, lady. Let me hear the shit. You decided to hear the shit after. And to offer my son is dead right now. That's when you decided to hear the shit. Is it Victoria, right? That's what you did. Yeah, that when everybody laughs. How people gonna 
feel after they see that they're lying. Did you, did you actually put a hands on her? Because I did it. No. You can see the camera. There's cameras in there. Okay. That's the beauty of fucking this world. There's cameras. In I did it. Okay. She okay. turned around me and I said, "Get off of me." And I went straight and I said, "You know what? I'm getting in this fucking flight because I have a seat, five seat." And she started laughing. She said, "I bet you won't." Upon checking the cameras, the officers did see Ramirez striking the gate agent. They also have several signed affidavits from people at the scene swearing the same thing. This is yet another lie being told to try to get her out of trouble. You know what? I have a recording. That's how I know if we go to court, I'm a fucking witness. I have recorded. I have recorded. I have recorded. I have recorded. Shut your ass up. You're useless. You're useless. The fing girl that works here, the fing spirit say to the gay guy, the worst experience itself, he goes, the girl is pregnant. It's recorded. That's a The gate agents have the right to deny boarding, even if the ticket is already paid for. They are responsible for the safety of the passengers on board, and based upon Victoria's behavior here, it's unlikely that it would have been a very safe flight if she'd been allowed to board. No, you listen to me. Okay, I'll listen to you. Go you gave me a ride to Puerto Rico. Well, I'm supposed to be working, working for my son and myself, and then that's it. And maybe I'll forget about a lawsuit about the mistreatment that you get better. I understand. get the myself and give me a fly and fire a that think that's okay to believe in all the students just because they don't like it. Oh, Victoria. I don't like her. It's okay. Victoria, calm down. I heard you now. You said it to me twice. I heard you. Okay. Me alone. I'm not Secure. Me You're under arrest. You're arrest. Spitting at an officer is a big no-no. Spitting constitutes assault, which she is very likely to be charged with considering how she's treated the officers so far. You think yeah, I care? Yeah, exactly. You think that bracelet that's there is not gonna... You think yeah, my dad's not gonna take care of you? Yeah, please. Yeah, my... Yo, listen. I'm gonna see you crying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When you fucking yeah. go. Are you guys able to look at her while we got to... Get my stuff. Get my stuff. We yeah, will get your stuff, Victoria. We will get it. That's over two thousand dollars a day. Get my phone. Can you do that? Can you at least do that? Get my phone. My white phone is over there. Victoria, get my sh Victoria, I'm gonna grab Could you phone. use okay. it? Yo, fucking use it. Yeah, just get my stuff. Just get my stuff. I don't know, man. I'm gonna fuck about you. I'm gonna fuck about you. I'm gonna fuck about you. So don't fuck talk to me. Get the fuck out of my face. Yo. Fake! Your fake! Your fake! Fuck you! Your fake! Get my shit! I better see all my fucking phones and I better see my laptop because that's over $3,000 in there. Victoria, my name's Joe. McCormick. Don't talk to me because you're not going to hear shit from me. I have to talk to you. No, okay? I'm not going to answer you. So don't waste your time. Don't waste your time. Don't waste your time. Don't waste your time. I'm for this country for nine years and you let that bitch have my phone. Get away with it. 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 Get away with it! Why are you asking me if I was right or wrong? It's not even clear what she wants from this anymore. She's saying that nobody was there for her, but she's talking like this to the medical professional who is there to make sure that she's all right. It's contradictory and makes very little sense. Where's Orange County? Going to John Young. John Young Where? Thirty third. Where's that at? A B I C. What you mean you? But where am I going? I should have a right to know where I'm going. Okay, Victoria, I got to Where am I where going? But where am I going? I know. But where? Where is that at? Why? Why? There you go. All right, here we go. Stand up. Why am I going over there? Victoria was eventually arrested, and she was charged with battery and disorderly intoxication. Even though this incident happened in 2022, her court proceedings are still being updated. 
due to a hearing regarding competency and a cancelled change of plea hearing. She's dragged this out for a very long time. But if you want updates to this case and all of these others, make sure to subscribe to my channel. I'll get you any updates I can whenever they come out. Victoria showed herself to be very disrespectful to the officers and everyone involved. The same can be said about this next woman, but she took the disrespect to a whole new level. Stop. We're going out. No, we're not. You're not going to get rebooked. You're, you're, you're causing a disruption. Stop. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. You're going to go out the doors. No, I'm not. You are. We've got numerous calls. I'm People walking flagged through us saying I'm white. Because I'm walking through saying I'm a white person. How much have you had to drink today? I'm walking through saying I'm white. How much have you had to drink today? I'm walking through saying I'm white. You're causing I a disruption. I, I can't say I'm white. You're what, causing what, a disruption. What disruption? And they're not going to fly you. What disruption am I causing? You have, you have multiple people flying what, 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 what disruption? I'm white. Okay. On June 26, 2022, officers responded to a disturbance at an airport where a woman was yelling racial slurs towards passengers. When they approached her, this is what she had to say. Once again, we have another case of a Karen who thinks that what they're doing couldn't possibly be considered a disruption because they have free speech in America. What if I'm black? Let me see your boarding pass. No. Did you fly in or what, are you flying out? What if I was black? I don't what care if I, what, what if I was black? race you are. I have no well, care what if whatsoever. I was, well, what if I was black? Okay. I'll walk through and say I'm white. I can't walk through as a U.S. citizen and say I'm white. How much have you had to drink? Does it matter? Because you're showing signs of intoxication. No, no, People no, don't act like no, this. No, 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 no. Why can I not walk through and be an American you're, citizen and say I'm white? You're causing people alarm, mm. concern. Oh. You're causing people to move out of your way. Oh, really? Because I'm walking through and saying I'm white? Because I'm saying I'm white? I have a privilege as a U.S. constitutional person to say I'm white. Okay, but you don't have a I'm right white. to be intoxicated, and I can smell it on your breath. Well, you know, I'm white. Okay. Are you going to arrest me because I'm white? I don't know what Are you're you getting at. Are you going to arrest me because I'm white? That's, I've never said anything about that, so okay. I don't know what your point is. Okay, well, what is your point? Where's your ID? I, I don't have to show you my ID. I'm in the You're not going to show me your ID? I, I don't have to show you Are you going to give him your ID? Yes, you do. Show him your ID right now. I'm Settle investing down. public Settle in talks. Down. Are you done? Settle I'm done. Down. I think we're good. Excuse me. Uh, Excuse don't me. Resist. Don't resist. We're done. At this point, the officers had easily seen enough to arrest this Karen for public disturbance. And once they find out just how drunk she is later on at the police station, things will get much worse for her. This is America. It is. We're a nation of laws. Ready? I'll, I'll grab it. Let's go ahead and get her out. Daughter, get her. Don't an tense abortion. up. Do you need me to? Are they too? Are they too loose? That one's too loose. Really? Which one is too loose? Right here. Stop it. Stop tensing up. Stop it. Yeah. Okay. Are you white? All I said was, are you white? Let's go. Are you white? Let's go. Are you okay? Good job. Good job. Stop. Stop it. Stop with this. Excuse us. Walk. Wow. Stand up. Wow. Walk wow. Are you, are, are you white? 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 This is what happens if you ask someone if you're white. Of course, it's perfectly legal to ask that question, even if it doesn't make much sense at all. But this was all just a cover-up for what she actually said before the police arrived. And whilst at this point she's doing a pretty good job pretending that she's innocent and only asked a non-offensive question, we'll soon see that this Karen can be a lot more physically and racially aggressive. Oh! Wow. Are you white? Don't ask someone if you're white. Don't ask someone if you're white. Stop it. Walk. Yeah. If you're white. Don't let it bite you. Watch your, watch your mouth. Yeah, you do it once. If you're white. She has white stuff on her nose. Are you white? Yeah. 
Are you white? Right? 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 Don't move. Put your feet out straight now. Put your feet out straight. Don't move. Shut the Kick me once. Kicking an officer constitutes an assault on a police officer, which they are very likely to charge her with based on the way she's been acting. Oh! You, go. Are you white? You f***ing people don't know who the f I am or who yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah. Are you white? Are you, are, excuse me, are you white? Are you Stop. white? Stop. Are you white? 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 I can't wait. To go on Tucker Carlson and Laura Graham because I know them personally. Can't wait. Can't wait. If you bite him, you're going to be charged. Lift your head up. Lift your head up. Lift your head up. What is this country country? that you will not allow someone to say, are you white? Once again, another Karen uses the argument of the country she lives in. The United States Constitution has no issue with her saying whatever she wants to say. What it does have a problem with is her creating a public disturbance. And also getting angry and screaming isn't the only illegal thing she's done today. She's also done something much more illegal and something the Constitution doesn't protect her for. I am so sorry that I am a beautiful white person and said, are you white? I'm so sorry. OMG. God, what are you doing about the black assholes who are walking around? Oh, oh, I said black. Oh, God, I said black. Oh my God, I said black, 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 black. This is because I'm not black. Hey, lady, I'm not black. Hey, shut your mouth. Hey, Stop. I'm not black. Enough. No, I'm not black. My grandfather's black, so are you in this name? How are you? I'm good, how are you? I'm fantastic, someone in here. So she wouldn't tell us anything. Her pupils are super dilated, and she won't stop screaming about the same thing. She doesn't exactly have the best track record, considering she already kicked one of the officers. Her pupils were also incredibly dilated according to the paramedic, which means that she was quite severely intoxicated. Do you know why, what I said? No, what did you say? I said, you don't have to wear your mask. Okay. I live in Mississippi. Okay. I don't have to wear my mask. Okay. You give me your, I, I am a Republican. I'm a Republican. Right there, so. I'm a Republican. Okay. I'm not well, going to kick you. You better not. I'm not, because you can hit me like my husband hits me. No, we don't do that. Cynthia was eventually arrested and charged with intoxication in public, battery upon a peace officer, and resisting and obstructing. There's no information on what happened in her trial, or if this even made it to trial, but hopefully she won't be disturbing anyone like this anymore. That's quite similar to this next woman as well, but the screaming in this next case is surprisingly even worse than in this one. Just looks like clothing. That heavy? On top, it's all clothing. There's something heavy like yeah. underneath the clothing because there's no way. It's just clothing. How much of weight? have a scale. There's one right here. Should be right there. On July 1st, 2022, officers from the Broward County Sheriff's Department were called to a JetBlue terminal. They were told that a woman was causing a scene because she was refusing to pay an oversized baggage fee for her overweight bag. 
She was also reported to use a racial slur towards the people assisting her. This is the bag in question, and it weighs a whopping 83 pounds when reweighed later. Generally, airlines require additional payment for bags over 50 pounds. What could be in there? Well, that's what I'm saying. It's, it's, it's more than just clothes. It has to be. It's like having an engine or a piece of motor. Or it looks like equipment. Yeah. It, or it feels like equipment. Yeah. No way, I'm just curious. Let's just. No, because. Let's just look. You know, hazardous reasons or. The dog didn't alert, so it. At least it's not. Right, right. It's, it's nothing not dangerous. Right, right. Yeah. This is like. It's as if someone says, "Hey, you know what? These guys, we can't be taken off the comments." Oh, it looks like a homeless person's like house. <laughs> I mean, it's got like all this. It's all shoes and whatever the heck. This is like. A whole container of Q-tips. This looks like uh, documents. Yeah. Like education. Oh yeah, that's that's part of what's yeah. causing the uh, the buff a little bit. Lisa Michelle Landy. She's got a master's degree from Notre Dame. It's pretty good. We need to find her. It's not clear why this bag was left in the middle of nowhere or why the woman isn't with it, but evidently, the woman had been informed that her plane had departed 45 minutes before she arrived. It might be the case that she abandoned the bag out of frustration. So she's coming out to get her bag? She's not flying. <laughs> she's not flying. Yeah. Okay. They had a, I just spoke with the supervisor that's covering the area. It's, uh, they're turning it over, so there's another supervisor. I spoke with both of them, and um, she said the woman's going to come out. She said there were other issues. So. She's intoxicated, I think, uh, also. Well, if she's intoxicated, she's definitely not supposed to be going anywhere. So. Toiletries, too, like hygiene products, like perfume bottles, glass. That's what makes it ridiculously heck. Oh, yeah. Yo, lady, ah, 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 we don't speak that here. What are you saying? Are you fucking kidding me? In the airport? In public? You said the N word? Are you serious? Ah, uh -uh, you're yelling that shit here. Ah, uh -uh. no, go. No, you're. Yeah, you're gonna go. No, you're gonna take your big ass fucking cancer. Get that fucking eighty-three pound suitcase. Excuse you. That's your. Go get it. Get downstairs, lady. Get downstairs. I can't no. Carry it. No, get your shit. Go downstairs. You go. Ah, 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 ah. Excuse you me. Go. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Get your You're gonna get arrested. That's what. Excuse you. No. No. Uh, uh. No. I want to see my You're mother be tomorrow. Uh, uh. No. You're arrested now. No, 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 no. Get. No. Put your hands behind your back. No. Put your hands behind your back. <laughs> Put your hands no. behind your back. The officers were talking earlier about how the woman was intoxicated. It was later confirmed that she was very drunk in this situation, having gone to the bar when she learned that she was late for her flight and had to wait for the next one. Excuse you. Uh -uh. Put your hands behind your back. You need to, need to stop. Mother. You're too young. So you don't no, I'm not. What is You're like acting a like a freaking like lunatic. Like he's dying of cancer. Nobody cares right now because you're that acting is. like a lunatic at an airport. Oh, you're 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 wrong. shouting racist, derogatory terms no, just, so in the middle of an airport. Uh uh. Wrong. No. Uh-uh. You're not. You're not. You're not when you're blasted drunk, lady. No, but this officer told me that tomorrow I can. Well, well before not before you, you started no, you're yelling. You know what? You, you just said you're I, you, No. You're a f Get your Oh, I'm a sp Oh, I'm a sp Okay. I'm a sp You got the wrong culture, lady. I can't even put her in my car. Because guess what? Oh, you have a cannon? You have a dog? Yeah. There's 
such a thing as guns in South Florida, Dean. What are you trying to say? Just let me go to a hotel and just come back tomorrow. This is not fair. Because she wants to bully up to me when I you. need to see my mother and my two boys that are home from college. If she wanted to see them so badly, then it probably wasn't a good idea to cause such a disturbance inside of an airport. Most officers do not react kindly to hearing racial slurs like that shouted across the room, and will be more likely to arrest you if you do anything further to create a disturbance. Why do you get blasted drunk to see your family and your dying mother? The that you missed your flight and you left your bag. That's great how you treat people. Really great. You know what she said? Yelling out, nig like the N-word, yelling out. No, she put All hands out on loud. Me. No, I only brought oh. hands on you. You need to be quiet. Yeah, 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 yeah. You need to relax Battery yourself. Touch and you need to relax. You. you need to relax. Get her hands off of me. Let's, Let's put her in the car. In the car. Yeah, yeah. Car, where's the car? Whose car are we putting her in? Whose car? Come on. I want to. Oh! Stop moving this. You're a fucking handling me. You. I'm cooperating. No. They have like 1400 $1,500 in cash right there. Okay. I want it back. Yeah. My husband is a med mal attorney. He's a senior partner in Midtown Manhattan. That's fine. And there's no way you're gonna let that go. I just sit. said. All right, sit back in the car. Ow! Sit down. Ow! Are you, Are you fucking crazy? All right, man. We're not playing that game with you acting like a, a child. All right, you can sit like that. Do what you gotta do. Lisa Landy was arrested and charged with assault on an officer and public intoxication. She was sentenced to probation and community service and received a lifetime ban from JetBlue Airlines. This wasn't her first run-in with the law, either. In a different case, she was charged because she called 911 over 100 times for no reason. Either way, she probably won't be flying for quite a while. The same can be said about this next case, because it's another example of a Karen being absolutely insane. This woman is Adelaide Gabrielle Schrowing, and she seems to suffer from the same delusion that plenty of Karens have in this day and age. She seems to think that because the United States guarantees freedom of speech as a human right, she can cause any number of disturbances and get away with it. Unfortunately for her, that is not the world she lives in. Police have the right to put their hands on you if you're refusing to cooperate, which she is currently doing. The reason that the airline wants her removed from the plane is because this was during the COVID-19 pandemic, and she was refusing to wear a mask through boarding. It's not about that, man. Okay. You can I'm going to ask you one more time, and then I'm going to have to put my but hands on you, okay? For what? Please because you're not no, listening. Let me ask you that. Uh, you, you're going to put... No, no, no. Fly, and that's fine. That's flight. fine. Why do you have a right to put your hands on me, though? Okay, let's go, Come on. No, that's why good. do you have a right to put your hands on me? Ma'am. What am I up. doing that makes you feel like you have a right to put your hands on me? Seriously, though, can you tell me that? Can you just help me to understand as a as a human that is alive, why why do you... Seriously, though, like, seriously, why can you just tell me that? Like, I'm actually asking you 
Chris, at this Chris point, here's what's happening. They're going to deplane the aircraft. I'm going to take you off the that plane. That was already happening. Don't worry. And you're going to jail. Just so no, you that know. That's already happening. It, it will happen. Okay. You can have them walk out with me right now. Yeah. But if you're not going to. Yeah. Right now, they're going to deplane. As soon as they deplane, you're going to jail. Okay? If you do not get up. That's how it's going to work. Do you see how that's a threatening system? That's the way it is. It's a threatening system because, generally, the threat of jail time is one of the only things that gets Karens like her to cooperate with what is happening. She did get up of her own volition, though, and didn't force the officer to drag her to her feet. I want to touch you. You want to touch me? That's not healing. We're not healing. Get off the That's door. Not Come on. Healing. Get off the plane. Can I trust you to not? Grab your stuff. Grab your stuff. Get off the aircraft. Can I touch you? Listen, have I touched you yet? I'm trying to get you off the aircraft. That's all we're trying to do. Do a control situation. If I get off the plane, you said you wouldn't arrest me. So you as a cop should have to honor that. We're trying to arrest you. No, you should though. They did not promise that she would not go to jail if she cooperated and got off the aircraft. They promised that if she didn't cooperate, she would go to jail. There's a big difference there. Getting to the point where you're not expecting, you're not respecting my human rights as a Adelaide was arrested and pleaded no contest to charges of resisting an officer without violence and trespassing. She was sentenced to six months of probation, as well as 16 days in jail. But with credit for time served, she did not have to serve any additional time. During her probation, she must undergo a psychiatric examination and she is not allowed to consume any alcohol or drugs. She will be subject to random testing and she was ordered to pay court and attorney fees. Adelaide's case was strange, but at least in some ways, she was respectful to the officers. This next woman has no respect for anyone whatsoever. I gotta leave. Guys, you guys oh, are rebooked for leave. tomorrow. Wait, I know my rights, okay? So I can't... Hey guys, they're, they're not gonna let you fly tonight. To me, yeah, but it doesn't matter, they're not gonna let you fly tonight. Why are they not gonna let me fly? Because they're not. You just wrong, said, I'm a this woman is claiming that she's done nothing wrong and should be able to fly. According to the gate agent at Tampa Airport, however, that is very much not the case. She was reported to be incredibly intoxicated and was causing a disturbance with other passengers. Things got tense when she was denied boarding and the agents called for police assistance. Hey, hey. What's your name, What's your name? Jason. Jason. What's your first name? Jason. 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 It doesn't matter what the tape showed, they're not going to let you fly tonight. So why he had to listen, tell me listen, that? Listen to me. Why he had to say that what is and, and threaten me like, hey, oh, I'm going to run this to us. Listen to me. Listen to us. We're here now. You guys are no, listen, you guys are it's not about size. No, but it's not you guys are rebooked for tomorrow. But but that's but you fair, know, you know what? You're not gonna make it. You know, I know my rights. You're not gonna make it. I know my rights. This doesn't have anything to do At with the rights. end of the day, yes I do. Yes I do. The woman continuously claims to know her rights, but that doesn't seem to be the case. If she did, she would know that airlines are allowed to deny her boarding for causing a scene. I could call, no, hang you up. You can call and complain if yeah, you right. want to. But this has right. no, and I'll hey. give a sick fight for you. Shut up, Nina. Okay. Guys, come on. Come to people All right, right I'm going to come with you. Uh, we're going to go. You guys are, do you have your stuff for me and rebooked for tomorrow? Is this your stuff for tomorrow? You can't get this flight. They're not, no, they can't, they canceled it. Do you see how they contradict themselves? Why do you think they let you fly? Do you hear how they trying to contradict? They, they thought that I was in taxi. No, they said that both of us was in taxi. I get it. Listen. And then they're like, oh, no, you get on, but she can't get on. Okay. Then they're like, because she tried to kick you. Okay, listen. I, they were like, oh, run the video. We need to go, okay? We're gonna... Can I see the cameras, though? No, come on. Come on. That's what he said. All right, but I have freedom of right. That's what he said, though. Have... You're not allowed to be here because you don't have a flight tonight. Now. I have a flight tonight. Can no, you don't. You're canceled. 1734. Listen, you're rebooked for tomorrow. Can I have the camera footage? We're trying to. Guys, trying to what? Cause now you can right, arrest right, me right, right now then, it, because yeah. you know what? 
I know my fucking rights. Hey. Nobody's intoxicated. Hey. Exactly. I did not Everybody. Done. He Ain't just nobody. said it. He just said it. You need to leave the airside or you're going to be arrested for yeah? trespassing. So show me the footage. How, how she's going to be arrested, arrested for trespassing. Yeah. So she, arrest me. she got the book on. So arrest me. Hold on, hold on. Stop. How's she going to get arrested? Me. And she has the Stop. the boarding the boarding pass. You let's go now. The boarding pass. Let's go. You just put in your I boarding pass for tomorrow. I will see the footage. So let me get the boarding pass. You're, listen, listen. You are trespassed. How am I trespassing? I got me. a ticket. Listen to me. You put it in your pocket. It's for it's for tomorrow. Right. Not now. So how am I trespassing? No, it's for today. They're lucky that the airline rebooked them at all. A lot of the time, airlines aren't required to rebook you if you're the one causing a scene and will only do so out of kindness. Considering the kind of trouble they're causing, it's a surprise that they gave them new tickets. Let's go. Let's go tomorrow. Leave. Let's go. Don't touch me. You need to leave. Don't touch me. Okay, that's it. Where's the female officer? Female officer. Don't yeah. touch me. Let's go. Leave. Leave. Can I get Babe. the border pass? Yes, leave. leave. Goodbye. How you need to leave. leave. You need to leave, no, too. No, no, no. You need to leave. Chef, look at me right now. Leave. Can I get the border pass? Turn yes. around and we're, right. we're going to walk with you and you will get your boarding Can passes. Get the I'll pass. take it now and we'll leave. Okay. Thank you. Okay, let's go. Is this all your stuff? Oh, yeah, hey, is. is this your stuff, guys? Uh, it's my stuff. You need to go. I'm used to the shit. You know what I know? You know what I know? Attention. No, you shut up. Yeah. 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 Tomorrow, tomorrow. So what paperwork do I have that my, my flight is due tomorrow? What, what paperwork do I have that my flight is due tomorrow? Stop yelling. You're going to go to jail. No. So take me to jail. I don't want to. Then I, I do so. To. I don't do want it. to. Stop. Because you know what? My mouth is greater. And I know my rights. Okay. And I know what the fuck is right. I didn't do done type shit. At the end of the day, I really didn't. But right now, you are. Y'all gonna be stop. done fucked up. Stop. No, because y'all. No, I'm not gonna it. stop. We didn't start anything. I'm not drunk. No, not I'm not run. nothing. Because they said you we're gonna run no, the tape. No, I told You're intoxicated. No, I'm not intoxicated. That's what they said about me. And Who I was said I'm intoxicated? Stop yelling. Both of them seem to think that they're entitled to yell and scream just because the officers arrived. If you cause a disturbance in front of an officer, it's still a disturbance, and you can be arrested for it. Pick up your purse. No, fuck the purse. Okay. So, uh, what, you we're know we're why? just trying to get you on your flight tomorrow. Yeah, I want my flight today. But, but you don't have one now. I do. No, and I can prove it that I do. They canceled it, ma'am. Yeah, why they cancel it? For what reason? This reason. So I was not like this. Okay. I sat there. He was on the phone. There was nothing wrong. Nothing. Come on, let's get on this. Please don't leave your purse. <laughs> Come on, let's get on the thing. There's nothing wrong with me. Okay, get your purse. No, you can't even look at me though. But again, if Man, that was get your purse. I've been I'll looking get... at you the entire time. Get All right, purse. I'll get my purse okay. right now. But you need to hear me. I hear you. There's cameras. There's footage. If you want to make a complaint about Delta, you can call their corporate oh, I will. and make it. Okay, that's you fine. Know what? That's not fair. I got a daughter who's waiting for me yeah. tomorrow. She doesn't seem to understand how the real world works. She can make a complaint to Delta, and that footage will be reviewed, and if she's in the right, she'll likely receive some sort of compensation. She won't be allowed onto the flight that day, because even if she was in the right at first, she caused a situation and was denied boarding. That decision won't be undone. It appears so, that you are intoxicated. No, I'm not. Yes. So is the camera footage? There's no camera footage, man. There has to be. About you being yes. intoxicated? Yes. I can tell you're intoxicated. You want a pet? Yes, I do. Because that's pet. how good. I can call right now. Okay. Pick your stuff no, up. No, so I can call right now. You're doing your job. I get it. Please You're pick your stuff up so we yeah, can get can so we can get you out of here so you can fly. No, here. I'm not getting out of here. Get on the thing. Come on. How are they tell me I can get on the No, thing. how are they tell me I can Come don't on. touch me. You can go. You're you can't, touch me. Go. You can't go. touch me. Go. You can't touch me. I dare you to touch me. Trina, don't make him touch you. Trina. Don't make him. He can't. Trina. He can't. He absolutely can touch her, especially considering the disturbance she is currently causing. The officers, in truth, have enough cause to arrest her right now, if not both of them. Many officers would have already arrested her at this point. See, that's a fucking problem, you shot dumbass. Attention. But they're not going to run no footage because that's a problem with the government. They done fucked up. I get it. You're doing your job. Get off the floor. You're doing your job, but you know what? That's not fair. No, fuck you. Get off the train. You're doing your job. Nobody wants to. Listen, we don't want to. Get off the tram. Let's go. Get off the tram for what? The whole day? 
No, he can go though, right? But he can go, right? Yes or no? No one can go. Attention, the doors have not closed properly. Please be sure that you and your belongings are clear of the doors. We are about to go. Who the fuck is you? Let's go. Let's go. We can't go. 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 We go. 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 Like she'd have been asking them to do. Her ID. She said she doesn't have one. The blind man has everything in my bag. Whether she's lying or not, let's try and pull her I'm not lying! I didn't say you were. I said if you are or not, we don't have it. The fact that she doesn't have an ID is strange. Generally, all flights in the United States require some sort of ID to be shown to prove you are who you say you are. Without an ID, it's unlikely that she would have made it onto that plane in the first place. I was leaving! No, you weren't. Yes, I it's was! It's on the video, you weren't leaving. Yeah, you're right. How much do you think you drank today? I drank fucking three beers on my dead father. Three too many beers. I didn't do nothing wrong. Yes, you did. No, I did You've been acting like an animal since I got How was I acting like an animal? You mouth. Being that? nasty. That's a the woman was arrested and processed, though because her name wasn't given away in the footage, it's impossible to find out how her court proceedings went, or if she ever went to court at all. Airports are already stressful places. When Karens make a scene in them, it can make it either better or worse, depending on how hilarious it turns out to be. Either way, this is what happens when Karens get kicked out of airports.